Hello, I'm Andrew Cutts and I'm a student at Harper Adams University studying MSc Entomology. In the A to Z of Entomology, D is for dragonflies and damselflies. These amazing creatures are some of the most easily recognisable of the insects. They're aerial predators in adult form, hunting other insects on the wing. You may have seen their spectacular aerial displays as they hunt flies, midges, mosquitoes and even butterflies depending on the size of the species being observed. Together, the dragonflies and damselflies make up the taxonomic order of Odonata. The name Odonata comes from the Greek odontos, meaning tooth. This is because of the teeth on their mandibles. Dragonflies are known collectively as anisoptera, meaning unequal winged, the hind wings typically being shorter and broader than the forewings. On the other hand, Damselflies are known as Igoptera, meaning paired wings. All four of the wings are roughly the same shape and size. Dragonflies have huge compound eyes that usually touch, covering most of their head. Meanwhile, damselflies also have compound eyes, but they do not touch and sit on each side of the head. Damselflies and dragonflies are usually on the wing as adults in the UK between April and October. These are the warmer spring and summer months. However, some people have witnessed them overpositing, that's laying eggs, in November. It's the end of November now, and you're probably thinking, why is he standing on the edge of the river? Well, the adult dragonflies and damselflies may long be gone, but below the water's surface, the larval stage, the nymph, still exists. The nymphs are carnivorous, just as the adult form and they feed on a wide range of invertebrates, tadpoles and even small fish. The adult form of the dragonfly and damselfly effectively erupts from the nymphal stage. The nymph leaves the water, finds something to climb, such as a reed, a piece of grass or a wall around a pond, and there sits still while the adult emerges. The skin that's left behind is known as an exuvia, some are shown here on the screen. The golden ringed dragonfly can persist as a nymph up to seven years. That's incredible, and that's an insect. The adult, on the other hand, may come out of the water and only survive for several weeks. That is, if they aren't caught by predators higher up the food chain, such as grebes, herons, coots, or the hobby. Adult dragonflies are extremely effective predators. Some studies claim that they capture 95% of their target prey. This is due to their astonishing flying abilities. They can fly in all directions and there are no slouches reaching speeds of up to 40 miles per hour for some species. Dragonfly flight is being studied by the US military as they attempt to replicate them in drone form for spy missions. Whereas some dragonflies will fly several miles from water, the damselflies tend to stay close to the water body. Damselflies occasionally rest with their wings held out, but usually the wings are held together above the abdomen. Male damselflies can be seen showing their wings as an attractant to females and to ward off other males. Fresh water, such as rivers or ponds, is required for breeding and eggs are laid directly into the water or deposited in aquatic vegetation. Some species go as far as diving and then lay in eggs inside the stem of submerged plants. Now that's a dedicated parent. Male Odonata have what are known as claspers at the tip of their abdomen. They use these to clasp a female behind the head during courtship and mating. The female then brings their abdomen round to reach the first portion of the male's abdomen, thus forming the mating wheel, as shown in the photograph. In the United Kingdom, we have recorded a total of 42 species of Odonata, including some migrant species. There are over 5,000 species worldwide, and they occupy all continents bar Antarctica. They come in a wide array of shapes and sizes. Today's smallest known dragonfly has a body length of 15 millimetres. That's just 1.5 centimetres and a wingspan of only 2 centimetres. In the UK, the largest wingspan is held by the Emperor at 12 centimetres. The largest modern day dragonfly has a wingspan of 19 centimetres. Sounds big, doesn't it? Well, compare that to the 70 to 75 centimetre wingspan of its extinct relatives that lived 220 million years ago. Thanks for joining me. 
and taking the time to watch this video. I hope it sparked an interest for yourself in the wonderful world of dragonflies and damselflies.